All right, we're here in La Jolla. I'm gonna dive La Jolla Cove. I didn't bring a spear gun or a pole spear. It's just sightseeing today. I'm taking this guy, GoPro on a stick. We're free diving. Hopefully I can get you guys some good shots with uh, some fish with this GoPro on a stick. So that's the plan for today. So if you've never put on a free diving wetsuit, let me show you how to do it. Free diving wetsuits are a little bit different. They're called open cell suits. They're called open cell because on the inside, there's no lining. It's just straight up neoprene. See? It's like uh, grippy. It's a little bit grippy, but once you put it on, it kind of conforms to your body and it keeps you extra warm. <laughs> so, the way to put these on, the best way that I find to put these on is to mix uh, some water with some hair conditioner. Mix it up. And that makes you, uh, that makes like a little bit of, that makes like lube for it, okay? That's what we're gonna use to slip this suit on. All right, so here we go. You start with the pants. And you hold the top of the pants and the bottom of the pants up. So when you put some of this lube in here, it doesn't just spill out of the bottom. So pick it up, slosh it around. Not all of it, just a little bit. Basically you wanted to smear around like that. Yep. Basically you're getting the whole thing lubed up before you slip your body in it. And the legs. Okay, hopefully that's enough. So now we do the top. Same process. We take the all the stuff that could let the water leak out. We hold the, the hands up, the arms up, we hold the hood up, and we hold the bottom. And we sprinkle some water in there. Some lube. At this point, it's uh, I'm the only person diving on this uh, bottle, so I'm gonna use the rest of it in here. That's done. I'm gonna let it slosh around the whole suit. Then I'm gonna let it come down one arm, but not leak out. I'm gonna let it come down one arm. I'm gonna bring it back to the center and let it come down the other arm. Make him back center and then make him out the hood. Yeah, so it's nice and lubed up everywhere inside. And on. Okay. Normally, if I had a little bit extra, I would get my hair wet before I put my head in there because my hair is just gonna dry it up as I put it, as I push it through. But it's pretty well lubed. Let's try it. Open it up a little bit like this. Put your arms in first all the way. Pass your hand. There you go. We got one, two, three. It's like being born again. <laughs> This is a brand new suit to me. The good folks at Omer hooked it up. Thanks, Kyle. This, this fits. It's great. I, li I'm, I like it. Super good. I've always worn Omer suits. My first suit was an Omer suit. I wore that thing forever. I got a 7 mil suit, also Omer, for when I went to Washington. And then I tried a bunch of other suits, but. Out of all the suits I've tried so far, the Omer suit has a, from, from my, for me anyway, it, it's the most comfortable. And 
so far so far so good I don't feel disappointed at all this thing, this thing is amazing so I use 5 mil it's a 5 mil suit and uh, today is the first time I use it in the water so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try this new suit out yeah so that's how you put on your suit if you have any questions put it in the comments uh, as far as lube goes I just use if I use a, a half a bottle of water I'll put in like like a tea, like two tablespoons of conditioner, regular hair conditioner. Okay, don't use shampoo because shampoo will make you itch. Don't use soap because soap will make you itch. Uh, conditioner. Okay, regular conditioner. Don't use a two-in-one. Just conditioner. Okay, you can buy the cheap stuff. You can buy the cheap swab, like a big bottle of uh, swab or something. Keep it in your car. Uh, keep it in your dive bag, and keep an empty bottle around. It, it doesn't mix very well when it's with salt water, so try mixing it with fresh water. Otherwise, it kind of it doesn't it doesn't mix as well. So, fresh water, two squirts of conditioner, and you're good to go. Shake it up, use it as lube to put your suit on. Okay. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's a beautiful day in the it's a beautiful day in La Jolla for sure. Nice and overcast. Uh, here's a, another tip for you guys. First time wearing your wetsuit. There's there's a different pe people do it different ways, but I like to put my 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 boot under my wetsuit. That way, when I'm coming up, the water doesn't push against the, the, my shoes. Don't, my booties don't fill up with water as I'm coming up to, back to the surface. So. Pull my, what, pull my wetsuit up, my boot on there, and then I put it over my boot. That way when you're coming up, the water goes over the boot, not into the boot. Less drag. Also helps to get your boot wet before you put it on because it makes it more stretchy. Kind of drying. It's dry right now, but that's why you see me push so hard. There we go. Definitely not as smooth as Mr. Rogers, but the shoes are on. <laughs> Basic free diving kit. I have uh, links to all this stuff in my on my website. That'll take you to. Uh, all, everything you need to free dive. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Wetsuit, open cell, uh, two-piece wetsuit, weight belt, dive knife with weight, weight belt with weight, dive knife. Definitely recommend a dive computer. Gloves, booties, low volume dive mask, snorkel, and of course free diving fins. Boom. So that's a, that's a bare minimum. This is before we start talking about spear guns or anything like that. It's just to get in the water, dive, get used to free diving, get comfortable to it. All right, so we're gonna go jump in now to La Jolla Cove.
Alright, we're out. We made it out. Real quick, now take off your suit. You want to put your hood back on? Take off your watch so it doesn't get stuck when you're trying to take it off your suit. So this should be, everything should be clear. Unclip the beaver tail. Don't just pull on the beaver tail because that's going to rip your suit. You got to put your elbows in the front flap like this. Okay? Put your elbows in. And then use your arms to push up, pull the whole thing over your, over your back. Here we go. There you go, it pops it off, and then you kind of just, don't use your fingernails, use, a, use your, the round part of your fingers, don't use your fingernails, there we go. Okay, and then you can pull, again, use, your, use the round part of your fingers, don't dig your nails into the suit because you'll rip it. There you go. And you can flip it inside out to rinse it and dry it, but for now, for the, for the drive home, I'm gonna just keep it like this. It it's, uh, keeps it less vulnerable. The, the soft part is in the inside, so it, get, so it won't get accidentally ripped on the way home.